Hello everyone and welcome to Going Bush. Now, as ever, Andrew, on the program today we've got a whole heap of the issues facing the forest industry. That's right, Nick. Now, did you know that 2011 is the United Nations International Year of the Forests? And in tribute to that, we've got an action-packed show. Here's a look at what's coming up. It's the world's biggest inland invertebrate and it lives in Tasmania's tiny streams. See how we are protecting this prehistoric beast. We uncover some of the most beautiful timbers in the world to work with, plus check out all the free things you can do in state forest. OK, so we find ourselves in the forests of northeast Tasmania, Nick, searching for the GFC. The GFC, Andrew, yes. but not the type to excite football fans or financial boffins. We no. are looking for the largest freshwater crayfish anywhere on Earth. It's not an animal that is seen by very many people. It keeps to itself in rivers and streams which flow into Bass Strait. Preferring dark holes full of logs, the giant freshwater crayfish is slow growing with the biggest animals living for over 70 years. This is the Tasmanian giant freshwater crayfish. What you're looking at here is the biggest invertebrate animal outside of the oceans. OK, so you can go to streams and rivers anywhere in the world, or even on land anywhere in the world, you won't see an invertebrate animal any bigger than this one. Only found in Tasmania. These big lobsters have no natural predators, but their numbers did suffer from overfishing. Retired forestry worker Graham Williams remembers when catching a lobster was common practice. Oh, you're that one? Bit of chicken, yeah, male. Same male, is he? Look at the box of gloves on him, boy. <laughs> not bad. Yeah. Oh, not so much love to be. We, we used to do normal fishing, probably on a Sunday, a picnic, and uh, these fellas would come along and get hooked up in your line sometimes, you know. So you ended up doing a bit of both. <laughs> Lobster fishing was completely banned in 2000. Now anyone found to be in possession of these animals face huge fines. I suppose what I've done is I've gone from uh, being a bit of a fisherman for lobster every now and again to actually, uh, uh, well, my view has changed I suppose over the years when you know how vulnerable they are. Uh, probably more thoughts given to how we can best look after them because it takes them such a long time. This fella's probably 50 odd years old or thereabouts I'd say, so you know, uh, yeah, that's, that's a long time to get to that stage. It's listed on the Tasmanian Threatened Species Protection Act as vulnerable, uh, which means that it's at risk of moving into the endangered category if the things that are threatening it at the moment continue to threaten it. It's a very, very special animal that we should all be proud of. And so we need to be very um, careful in, in um, protecting the, its habitat. Mm -hmm. 